I'm Chase Briscoe, driver number 14 Ford Mustang for Stuart Haas Racing, and you're watching William Blackwell on YouTube. Since no one else is going to say this, I'm just going to go and say it now. Today's NASCAR Cup Series race at North Wilkesboro was a very big disappointment for many reasons, but let's start off with the bells and whistles. The year is 2023. Every single track has things for their sponsors, infield tunnels and whatnot, but North Wilkesboro really doesn't have an infield tunnel. So the teams in the open like the 78, 77, 51, 15, 38, 34, I can keep going on and on. Them teams expected to go to North Wilkesboro and just race in the open and not make the main event. They're having to go to this because they're a charter team and they have to do it all. And I do not like that because maybe the crew members could have left during the intermission from the uh, early race and between the all-star race, they could have left. But the haulers couldn't. They did not open the gate. If you had an infield tunnel, all that could have been resolved, but they do not have one, and you need to have them bells and whistles. For two, NASCAR has a tendency of putting traction compound on tracks where they shouldn't really be doing it, and they missed it entirely at North Wilkesboro. They should have definitely put it out there probably put a little bit more than they usually do because the racing surface was only one lane and if you got out of it, your night was over with because you get trained by 10 cars and you can be second place like Chris Bush at the start and find yourself in 10th place at the end of lap five. Not a good look. I did not like that. And uh, NASCAR, what are you doing there? And then we saw that early caution early on between Jones hitting, or hitting the 47 car with Stenhouse, spun the 47 around, Everyone pretty much stayed out, but the five car came into pits, got four fresh screw year tires, and had a major advantage over the field. He lapped all the way up, was getting close to the top 10 before the competition caution came out at lap 100, which saved Ty Gibbs and allowed Truex to get back on the lead lap by the lucky dog. They restarted again. Larson had four fresh tires. Bubba Wallace took two rear tires, and that's all you can say. Larson ran away with it. Track position was key, folks. And I will say this. For one, the second lane was a terrible advantage. Uh, if you're starting fifth on the bottom line, you got a better chance of finishing better than the first car in the second lane. That's that's not a good look. Second, though, the competition caution ruined it all. If they would have let it stay green, more strategy would have been involved. And who knows? We could have saw a different result and a better finish. And, uh, and there was four sets of tires. I believe that was so unnecessary. All these teams love to complain on a weekly basis about the tires that are given to them for a weekend for a weekend's race. And uh, this right here, I did not like it at all. Four sets of tires for a 200 lap race around North Wilkesboro. Mm -mm. Maybe maybe three. Three's kind of pushing it. I believe they should have had one set of tires or two set of tires, but one set for each hundred laps. I think that would have been awesome. Uh, but yes, yeah, so NASCAR. They had a good turnout though, but the racing product in North Wilkesboro was terrible. And uh, they gotta have all the bells and whistles. NASCAR cannot keep going to tracks like this for like maybe 10 races out of the year. Like fans are wanting to see if Nashville and all these other tracks are being revived. You cannot do that. They gotta have the bells and whistles because if they do not, sponsors are gonna leave the sport. And what keeps the sport rolling, you said it right, sponsors. So not a good weekend. For NASCAR on the racing product, but they did have a good turnout, so that's the only positive there is. But everybody, though, please like and subscribe and comment down below your opinions about today's race at North Wilkesboro because I'm very curious to know. Peace.